Yo, what's good y'all? Welcome back to another Tarot Energy Forecast with me, Tatiana Tarot. If you are new to my channel, what's goody? I'm happy to have you on here. Um, you can join me every Monday doing one of these Tarot Energy Forecasts. Basically where I just chat it up and let you know what to expect for the week ahead utilizing tarot oracle and just channeling straight from spirit um, I am a tarot diviner a spiritista and Ia Larisha of the Sheshe tradition Akashic record practitioner practitioner a mommy subtle energy healer and I'm just happy to be doing these videos again it's been a minute and I've been doing them pretty consistently so I'm grateful for all the love and the outpour of appreciation that you guys shower me with every week in the comments and in my DMs. If you have not yet done so, please like, share, and subscribe. Share with your homies because there's always some sort of gospel message here that someone needs to hear. So that being said, we're gonna be doing this video for June 12th, Monday, June 12th, all the way to Sunday, June 18th. As per usual, time is timing. It is flying by and, and we're already at the middle of the month, okay? I just did like the tarot scopes for the month last week and we're already at the middle of the month. If you guys are watching, I also offer tarot scope readings for every sun, moon, rising, Venus, signs um, up on my channel you can find it as like the main head video when you log into my channel um, and so you can go ahead and watch that for additional information now if you're one of those people that are looking to work with me one-on-one -on -one, my books are closed my books have been closed for several years a lot of us spiritualists and practitioners that divine, do readings, do healings. A lot of us have been burnt out from COVID, okay? Because COVID had everybody in a tizzy. COVID had everybody being like, oh no, I need to get a reading because I don't know what's gonna happen. My finances are in shambles. I just met this person or I'm divorcing this person or I'm pregnant, yaka, yaka, yaka. And so everybody was booked and busy. We're not trying to be busy. We're just trying to be booked, okay? We're trying to be booked and relaxed. <laughs> booked and easeful all right and so a lot of us were burnt out and so i've pivoted from doing one-on-one -on -one readings to more teaching and spiritual education so that i can empower you guys to read yourself to work with your dead to work with your ancestors to learn various spiritual technological modalities that is going to help you get to where you need to go to thrive to expand your consciousness to activate your gifts that are in your lineage and so I do that. I do that through a variety of courses and my online membership called Possess Your Spirit. Possess Your Spirit is having a summer sale for the month of June. So you've got like two more weeks to take advantage of this. And the sale is 20% off of your first three months. Subscribe to the membership. Use the code HOTSUMMA, H-O-T-S-U-M-M-A in the checkout box. When you check out, there is a box for discounts and stuff like that. Add that in there and you will be Gucci, okay? I have a variety and a plethora of classes, workshops, tutorials, downloadable meditations to get you right in your life, okay? And we talk about everything. We, we, we practice our divinatory skills. Even if you don't know how to read tarot, you don't know how to channel spirit, you don't know how to work with your dead, we do that. Um, we teach you. Me and the spirits teach you. <laughs> Hence we. Um, there are a lot of tutorials on how to clear financial blockages, how to clear the love blockages, tutorials on spiritual baths, tutorials on um, Akashic record reading, you know, reading about past life regressions, giving yourself a past life regression, looking into the future, timeline jumping, all that fun stuff, all that Afro futurism, spiritual classes, you got that in the portal. So please go ahead, click the link below. And if you are looking for a reading one-on-one -on -one with me, I do have a wait list. Um, I think inevitably I will open up my books. It will be limited. It will be at a, you know, it will be worthy for worth it for me to jump back in. So you can sign up for the uh, uh, waiting list down below. So let's get started. As per usual, I have the same decks. Herbal Astrology Oracle Deck by um, Adriana Ayales, 
Okay, we're gonna be using that at the end to get a final message. We got the trusty handy dandy Rider weight. Okay, never fails. This um, Oracle deck that is uh, Romani Oracle deck and then the Psychic Tarot uh, by John Holland, I believe. So Great Spirit, what is it that you need us to know for Monday and Tuesday, June 12th and 13th? What is the message for us overall? What is coming in? Getting the image of a tsunami like a bunch of water water an avalanche of water um, tsunami this could this could I hope it doesn't apply to natural disasters because we don't want that happening um, but it, it could apply to um, an insurmountable amount of emotional healing when it when it when it comes to our subconscious things coming up to the surface bubbling up and boiling over uh water is synonymous with our emotional bodies with our feelings with our sentiments and it could just be a good time this week to let those emotions be to flow with the emotions to allow yourself to cry to give yourself permission to cry to give yourself permission to feel the waves of emotions passing over you in whatever form those emotions are whether it's waves of elation waves of sadness and grief uh, which has been a theme for a lot of us and the sadness and grief could be quite literal things happening in your life that induce you know uh, endings and, and 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 things that are not um the happiest but it could also be you know you're feeling waves of sadness because in grief because there is some sort of a transition that you are in and uh, an old way of being is ending and uh, old way of doing things an old life and you have every right to grieve who you were while honoring who you are to become who you're stepping into and so I also think that whatever is going on astrologically because I'm not an astrologer Maybe adding on to energetic healing, um, bringing things up to the surface, bringing things up to a boiling point so that they can be confronted, they can be addressed, they can be um, dealt with. This just flew out. So this is the Seven of Cups. We're going to we're gonna take that as one of the cards for the week. Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups deals with options, choices. Um, there it's just, it's just this is what I'm getting I'm getting a feeling of feeling overwhelmed not knowing what direction to go in not knowing what to choose for yourself perhaps maybe wanting so many things that you don't know which option is the right option um, I also feel that for a lot of us much is being revealed in the spirit realm so this could be through dreams this could be just unexpectedly overhearing a conversation, someone coming up to you with information and it being just what you needed to hear or it being like just information, just as that information that you needed to know that you didn't expect that you would find out. Um, it's not necessarily bad information, but it is information. Um, and so with the Seven of Cups, it gives this energy of feeling a little aloof feeling a little detached, feeling a little ungrounded, especially coupled with the vision of the tsunami I saw, um, which kind of quite literally knocks us off our feet on an emotional standpoint. Um, I think it's okay for you to feel, um, to feel unbalanced. I think it's okay. This is, you, you're in a space where clarity is like, coming up on the horizon clarity is the sunrise that is slowly peeking out from the curtains 
And so it is okay for you to honor a space of uncertainty. It's okay for you to honor a space of maybe even discomfort in the growth, discomfort in the becoming. Um, a lot of us, I feel, are demanding clarity, are demanding answers and demanding solutions and forgetting that there's divine timing behind all of that. It is not to say that your 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 prayers are not being heard. It's not to say that you're not being seen, felt, that you're not being supported in the spirit realm. You absolutely are. But I think there is a there is a pace, there's a timing, and there is a reason for everything. Right now, it is very much a purge, a cleansing, um, a stripping away, and a coming. A coming, how do you say this? A coming to this, just a realization of what has been the storyline inside of your body, what has been the underlying energy inside of your body, what has been the energetic skeleton that has been ruling your spirit. It's time for you to build new energetic bones, so to speak that are more conducive to what you want. So you're gonna get a lot of choices. You're going to be seeing things that you did not expect with the Seven of Cups. Um, revelations, uh, maybe, and this is just an example, maybe a friend that you used to kick it with that you adored, um, you're really starting to see the truth behind that person. Maybe you're starting to see wounds that that person has. The way that person navigates themselves and how they project their energy. Uh, maybe you start seeing manipulation tactics, subtle tactics that they're using that they're not even aware of. And this may not be a bad thing. This could just be a realization in your end that, hey, okay, I no longer want to participate in, in this sort of dynamic. I no longer want to be a pawn or a puppet. I no longer want to entertain that energy. Um, I want to pull back or I want to sever the ties here or now I see maybe why I participated in that. I see what the contract was, the agreement was, the dynamic, the relationship and now I want to change the relationship. I no longer want to uh, participate on that. Right? So you are seeing, you're seeing the truth. You're seeing the truth in yourself. You're seeing in the truth, the truth in the world around you. You're seeing the truth in other people. You're seeing the truth in your daily activities. Um, and it may be shocking for some of you, okay? Even in the things that you do, um, maybe toxic habits, toxic people that you have around, maybe things that are not so toxic that are kind of unhealthy. If you're a workaholic, are you overtly indulged? in something that is not seemingly bad, but it is indicative of you being avoidant um, or is indicative of you coping with something that happened earlier in your life that you realize, I need to address this. Um, so there is a lot surfacing up for you in terms of themes of lack and unworthiness. I'm even, I'm even seeing themes of codependency and attachment and themes of abandonment that are going to uh, come up. They're gonna come up in your daily activities. They may come up in things that you read and things that you see in other people's behaviors. It may come up in emotions. You thinking of someone that you haven't thought of in a while. You doing something that when you actually do it, you awaken and you're like, whoa, um, whoa, the root of me doing this lies in X, Y, and Z. I need to look into that. Um, and so this, this period, Monday and Tuesday, the 12th and the 13th is asking you to be gentle. It is going to be very emotional. It is going to be filled with, um, it, I just can't like, there's no other word, emotional revelation, clarity, the very clarity that you're seeking is coming in through another portal it's not coming in through what you're demanding it's coming in it's like when you're asking for something and spirit is redirecting your focus because like okay you want that that's fine but i got you i need you to pay attention to this because when you pay attention to this you'll be ready for that 
Yeah, you're not paying any attention to this because you're not giving it any value. You're not thinking it's important, but it really is. And we need you to address this first before you get to what it is that you really want. It, it's preparation. It is preparation. And so there needs to be constant cleansing. There needs to be constant hmm, openness, curiosity, playfulness, not judgment, not uh, personal oppression, uh, not personal... Um, uh, criticism, but just like, hmm, why am I, um, why am I uh, picking up on this? Why am I seeing this? Like, why, why is this coming up? Oh, this is really interesting. What is this trying to tell me? What is this trying to teach me? Um, so on and so forth. Yeah. Okay. Hold on one second. Um, and so, I mean, not, none of this would be coming up if you were not personally ready. You are protected. You're getting God's protection, right? You're getting God's protection. Again, this came out last week. So I do feel like a lot of this is divine timing. I do feel like a lot of this is alignment, you know? Um, and it reminds me of sometimes we ask for things and... Um, we don't really get a full understanding of what comes with the things that we ask for. What are the energetic implications? What are the spiritual implications? What are the sacrifices <laughs> and, and the other elements and strings attached that we don't see? And uh, some of that is work that we need to do within ourselves. Some of that is just a reshifting and recalibrating of perspective. Um, and I think a lot of us are ingrained to just automatically assume the worst. While we're not feeling our best selves, we're automatically bringing ourselves down, assuming the worst. When we really need to lift ourselves up, when we really need to be a very nurturing maternal force. A lot of this is divine feminine um, breaking. It's almost like a, a rupture as happening inside of yourself a rupture that is allowing the divine feminine to flow in. So this is really beautiful. It's like a birthing. You have to break through those walls. There is pain, but the process and the situation in and of, in and of itself is is quite beautiful. It's 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 transformative. It's magical. It's um it's just it's just a very um amazing birthing process that you're going through right and so drinking lots of water during this time during this week for the duration of the month even would be very soothing for you don't engage in things that that you feel off really trust it's 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 a, it's a time to go back in yourself it's a time to listen to yourself it's a time to not be so logically oriented but Tuning into your own inner GPS. Do I feel like going out? Do I feel like participating in this? Do I feel like immersing myself with these people? Do I feel like eating this? Do I feel like drinking this? And honoring that. If you feel like drinking that glass of wine is not going to really do you any good this week, don't drink it. If you feel like going out to that party is not really going to, you know, you want to do it, but like you're feeling like off, don't do it. Cancel your plans if you need to cancel your plans. Take extra rest. Go to bed early, journal more, go move your body, swim, go take a spiritual bath. Whatever it is that you need to do to kind of nurture, cater to yourself, love yourself more, mother yourself more, soothe your wounds, you're being advised to do that, okay? So let's get into the middle of this week. We have a... June 14th and 15th, Wednesday and Thursday, June 14th and 15th. Grace Spirit, what is it that you have to say for June 14th and 15th? What is it that everyone needs to know and be aware of? Okay, let's see here. And we're still picking back Okay, interesting. We're still picking back off of 
that sorrow, that grief, that loss, that shedding. We're still navigating that. Some of you guys really need to learn detachment. It is difficult for you to just let things be. Whether it's an old relationship, old way of being, old job, old home. It is important for yourself to honor your feelings, to fully, fully feel your feelings. To You have a right to feel the way you do. But there's a difference between wallowing in that emotion and being self-deprecating and not allowing yourself to emotionally move on. And some of us may be stuck here with the five of cups, lamenting the past, feeling sorry for ourselves, um, um, feeling, feeling, you know, feeling as if we're not going to recover, feeling as if there's nothing better on the horizon. It's, there's always something better. You need to recalibrate whatever code you've got in your mind, programming you've got in your mind, system you got in your mind, wipe it out and really adapt with the belief. It's better. It always gets better. It's something better for me. It's the better it gets is the better it gets is the better it gets. There's always, it can only get, I can't get it wrong. I can't get it wrong. I could only get it right. It only gets better, right? That's what some of us need to think because this five of cups is very much woe is me. They don't realize there's there's almost like a lack of awareness in terms of gratitude, in terms of how many cups this person still has, in terms of, wow, there's a bridge that could lead me to the castle where I want to go. I'm too busy focusing on what I've lost and the mistakes I've done or what has happened to me that's caused me to stop in this sort of negative, this dark cape and this posture of looking down and it's not good. So give yourself a spiritual bath, give yourself a pick me up, surround yourself with comedy shows, happy music um, or things that uplift you, scents that uplift you, wear your brightest colors, so you do your hair, get a manicure or pedicure, eat a luscious meal. It's time to be in your sensuality this weekend. It's time to come alive. Even you can be feeling grief, you could still feel these things and go through these motions, but you don't have to do it looking dusty. You don't have to do it acting dusty. And that's what Spirit is trying to tell you. It's like, okay, life goes on. Chop, chop. The blessing, it is it, not going to take you 50, 50, 11 years for you to get your blessings. Like, it's right here. You just, you just, just, you can still feel the way you feel, but don't stumble. Don't stop the momentum. And some of you guys are stopping the momentum. Okay? Because what we're getting here is the King of Pentacles. This is wealth on all accords. This is wealth. This is health. This is financial wealth. This is spiritual wealth. This is successful wealth. This is the fruit of the labor, the fruit of, of what you've been working towards. This is all of that emotional um, healing that you have been doing. The over, It's over pouring into blessings into your life. Because you have emptied your cup of the murky waters, now the, the, the juices and wine... And, and pineapple juice and apple juice and, and, and wine and champagne can flow into your cup. The money, the coins can flow into your cup. Happiness can flow into your cup, right? King of Pentacles is now taking out the weeds of his garden. So now it's growing with roses. It's growing with all these luscious plants and herbs and, and elements that have value, have purpose, give, heal, sustain, sustain for long term, long term growth here with the king of pentacles. So you guys are securing something um, substantial, long lasting. You guys really are on the right path. It's much so about, okay, how do I, okay, what are the emotions that are blocking me? What are the emotions that are coming up that cause discomfort? Where is this stemming from? You know, why do I have this belief? You know, have I really sat with this? Do I really feel irritable about this? Do I feel hurt? Um, do I feel wounded? Do I feel abandoned? Do I feel scared? Do I feel fearful? Do I feel doubtful? Do I feel unworthy underneath all of that? Do I really just feel unworthy? And that's why 
I've been acting like this or feeling like this, right? Maybe it's your inner child calling out for attention and you guys have not given your inner child attention and they're pouting and they're in a corner and they feel abandoned and they're sulking and it's time for you to razzle dazzle that inner child. It's time to, for you to really connect and hug your inner child. It's time for you to assure your inner child. It's time to, for you to heal your inner child. It's time for you to play with your inner child. Because I don't, again, like I say in almost every video, I don't think it's you doing anything else physically. I think it's you more clearing out things energetically and becoming more of what you want on an energetic level. So it, we went from this posture to this confidence and assurance. What are you going to do in your everyday life to now become the king of pentacles? King of Pentacles garden isn't fully grown, but we've got a lot of things to show for it, right? The King of Pentacles is sitting there pretty like, I know it's going to grow when it needs to grow. Like things don't grow overnight. The season is already, I'm already assured of a luscious, prosperous harvest. I'm going to keep my head up and just trust the process. I trust myself. I love myself unconditionally throughout all seasons of me being me. Throughout the dark seasons, throughout the seasons of uncertainty, I still stand confident in certainty. Okay? Even though there's emotions that are like doubtful, fundamentally, I know my Ori, I know my, my higher self is assuring me of success. I know I can't get it wrong. The better it gets, it gets, it continues to get better and more elevated and more prosperous for me. I'm only on a road of expansion and growth and bliss, okay? And yes, I have, I've, I'm, I'm so connected with myself that I allow my emotions to be. I allow them to be. I'm no longer oppressing them. I am more playful. I am more creative. A lot of you guys in the middle of this week is telling you to get out of this funk and be more creative. You now need to create. It's your you you cleanse you cleared you're still feeling the things and now it's time to okay what is what are you creating for yourself you're still in the desert it's time to you for you to fill things up in the desert like a sims game are you going to put a theme park an amusement park are you are you going to design your day so that you wake up with prayer you wake up with gratitude you wake up taking uh, an intentional bath in the shower and you're blessing yourself up in the shower you're wearing your finest things you're lathering yourself with oil you're you're checking in with your intuition what colors do i need to wear today to attract more love or to attract more abundance financially or to attract to be more magnet to be more magnetic in my life what colors do i need to wear and just trusting that and playing and being your own magician I'm surprised the magician card didn't come out. Um, <sighs> I'm surprised the magician card didn't come out. A lot of success in finances for you guys. A lot of success. This is the summer. We're heading into the summer. And spirit wants you to play in the summer. Spirit wants you to enjoy the summer. Spirit... What's wrong with Sahara? Spirit wants you to really um, make the most of the summer. Okay? And that means getting to know your shadow side. You don't want the light to be interrupted by the darkness out of nowhere. You want it to be half and half. Like, they're best friends. Okay, I see you. I'm not ignoring you. I see you. I feel you. I empathize with you. Okay, you got my attention so that you're not trying to get my attention in the most inconvenient times. You know, you got it. I'm listening. I'm healing. I'm giving you what you need, Shadow. You need a bowl of soup. You need some Vicks. You need a warm blanket. I got you. Okay. It's not you running away from yourself. It's you loving yourself more. Okay, so the end of this week... June 16th, Friday, the 17th, and the 18th of June. Great Spirit, what is it that you want us to know? Okay, flipping out. You got the golden ticket. What flew out is the ace of wands in the world. That's it. 
I think that's what you needed. You needed, it was emotional and energetic constipation. Sahara. What this girl's on? Hooping and hollering. Um, you went through a death. You have more discernment on what energies you want to allow in your life and what energies you don't want to allow in your life. You have more security within yourself. You, there's, a, there's immense confidence. You have this magnetism and confidence that makes you irresistible. With that magnetism comes with all that magnetism comes with all sorts of things because you 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 being so close to your shadow and not fearing your shadow and knowing what your shadow is and allowing your shadow space you're giving you're giving your shadow side the mic to speak rather than taking the mic away and stuffing it somewhere else. That is the best gift you can give yourself. That is what's going to make you open and receptive to the things you desire, the things you want, the things you deserve. We see this in the Ace of Wands. It's this flame. It's, it's like the moths are now coming to you because you're this vibrant flame that is irresistible. It's in your charm. It's in your aura. It's in your way of being. It's in your identity now with the world. Okay? And we get we see that because you went through a death, you went through a metamorphosis. This is the end of that. I think this month, the end of this month, is really solidifying changes here that we have been talking about for many months now. This house, you know, some of you may be going through some literal transition, new house, new home, new stable relationship. Uh, uh, more serious in a relationship, whether it's a relationship with yourself, relationship with another person, um, expanding the family. I, when I first saw this card, it was more like the foundation of the house of who you are. Okay, I'm confident in my finances. I'm confident in my spirituality. I'm confident in in my being, my identity. I'm confident in my emotions. I'm confident that I. Am competent to be able to handle and take care of myself appropriately I am confident that I will be able to give myself grace during the times where I don't feel my best self I am confident that I am able to um, pour extra love onto myself and accept myself during during a stormy season during a rainy season during a windy season during a summer season during a wet season I am still going to be authentically me. I am still going to show up as my rawest form. And I'm still going to love myself and give myself what I need, when I need it, as I need it at that time. The, the house that I have built, the being that I have built is firmly secure. There's a firm, firm foundation. It don't matter if it's a tsunami. It don't matter if it's a tornado. It don't matter if it's a hurricane. It's still going to stand. That's what I feel a lot of you guys are now stepping into is this unbreakable, unshakable, unfuckable with person that you are. Um, and as a result, it is going to attract a lot of people that like that energy. It's going to attract a lot of people that are in alignment with that energy, that are that energy, that are a part of your new soul tribe, so to speak, um, that are a part of your um, kindred spirit that it, from other lifetimes that you're meeting in this lifetime to continue to do some work together, um, to continue to do some, to share some experiences together, okay? And it's also going to attract people that maybe are in need of that healing, that don't know how to supply that for themselves, and maybe you being your most authentic self is, is, um, is teaching them that. And it's also going to attract people who are frauds, who just want to steal that energy for themselves? They don't want to work with source. They don't want to do the so they don't want to do the work. They 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 their shadow is the primary source. Creator source energy God God is is not their source. The shadow is right. <laughs> like there's no light for them, and so they want to. Oh, they see light in other people. Oh, they want to suck it up. And so I feel like at this point, you guys are becoming much more clear and more discerning 
on who you want to share that with, who you want to share your authentic self with, who you want to build with other people on a spiritual and an emotional level, who you want to share your emotions with, who you want to share your victories and glories and sorrows with, um, who you want to build with, like I mentioned before, who you want to open your house to, right? Um, be choosy. It is a time to be choosy, but I think you won't be confused. You'll know. You just need to, you don't even need to do anything. Spirit is like, sit back and watch. Let people reveal themselves to you. Let intentions reveal themselves to you. Let situations come to you. You're now a magnetic source. Why you got to be chasing people? No need to chase lovers. No need to chase family members. No need. Pray. Pray for healing. Pray for what it is that you want. Pray for other people. Pray on their behalf. Pray Pray that things be handled. But you really don't need to be doing much at this point. You are like the center of your own universe. You are the sun. What the sun be doing? Just shining. It's not moving around. <laughs> Maybe rotating around itself. That's about it. Everything else rotates around the sun. So let them all, let it be chaotic. Let it be chaotic and you be the center force in that chaos. You may be inexplicably thrown into chaos. That's an inevitability. Like the whole world is chaotic. But it doesn't mean that you need to participate in it. And I think at this point you're like tired. You're tired of your own antics. You're tired of your own excuses you're tired of this old way of being that you just shed and now you're getting used to this new space that you're in which is very foreign because it feels like peace it feels like doing the least and getting the most which is like oh my god is that possible is possible shit is possible there'll be parts where you still want to do the most because your brain is saying i gotta do the most to get the most but that's a lie Snatch yourself back into reality, okay? The world means all is accessible to you. You're graduating. I think we had this a week ago. You're graduating. You're on fire. So what is it that you want that you've graduated now? What do you want to experience? Think big. Think big. Act big. If you want your own TV show, if you want to, not even your own TV show. It's like some people are like, well, I want to be an actor. So I got to move to California. Why? Why don't you create your own production company? Why don't you build, create your own films? Why you got to go follow somebody else and do what other people are doing? Why don't you do something on YouTube and blow up there? Why don't you make your own YouTube? Why don't you create your own online membership with your own films and stuff? Write your own stuff. I don't know. That was just a random example. Produce your own music. Release your own music. Eh... Create your own cooking show. Create your own studio. Create your own clothes. Whatever you, whatever, it's, it's a time for creation because what's not working is not working. And spirit is like time to build a new, time for a new paradigm. What is, what you don't see in your reality is what you need to create. Be innovative. Ask your guides for innovation. Open up to your own innovation. Play. Remember what you was doing as a kid. You was creating all types of shit with your Legos. You was like putting on a cape and be like, I'm invisible now. Like, why don't you just do that? Do that. Play. See what happens when you invoke that energy and that possibility. All right. So, great spirit. Um, let's see what's going on this week using the Herbal Astrology Oracle deck. What is our message for this week? Get it done. Get it done. Just do it. Just have the confidence to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it well. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it well. I'm going to do it to the best capacity I can do. I'm not even judging myself. I don't care what other people have to say because they're not doing it like me. I'm the one, never the two. I'm the only one that's birthed in this body, in this in this energy. With this, I'm the only one with this DNA. Let's get into it. Right? You need to be acting unique. Okay? That's what you need to be doing. Because that's what you are. Okay? So, let's see. Acceptance. This is Valerian. It says accept, uh, acceptance, which is uh, basically on par with the message I gave y'all. Intuitive order. Loosening up. Acceptance. Embrace your imperfections. Persistence. Okay, the astrological ruler is Neptune. Ancient physicians referred to this plant as Fu due to the pungency of its smell, referenced in his text as smelly old socks. 
<laughs> While other names of the plant, such as all heel and cut finger, are common, the Latin origin of Valerian's name comes from valer, meaning to be strong and healthy. In the medieval Sweden, Valerian was sometimes placed in the wedding clothes of the groom to ward off the envy of the elves and protect the marriage. It was said to be used by witches to protect and unbind those who were the target of evil spells. The Nordic goddess Hertha put Valerian on her riding crop, causing the stag she rode to increase in power and speed. In combination with the brittle of hops, Valerian is suspected to have helped facilitate the journey between realms, the liminal space often inhabited by witches or between waking and sleeping life. Both the Greeks and Celts used Valeria to ward off evil, traditionally hanging it in bunches around windows to repel spirits and protect the home from lightning. They also used it to consecrate ritual tools, promote peace, provide purification, break hexes, and enhance stability and happiness. A growing number of clinical trials now show how various types of valerian improve sleep quality and alleviate insomnia, exhaustion, fatigue, and pain. Valerian resembles Neptune's archetype as the herb powerfully greatly relaxes the body and mind to experience deep states of rest, sleep, and even access to other worlds. Neptune is the planet of dreams, other realms, the subconscious realm, the psychic mind, imagination, and a fundamental connection to spirituality. Valerian assists us in abandoning the story that keeps us bound to one reality. Boom. Let's read that again. Valeria assists us, uh, Valerian assists us in abandoning the story that keeps us bound to one reality allowing us to access beyond our physical body into a greater mystical reality. Guidance. Valerian supports us by widening our trigger points and helping us to zoom out of a situation that might be overloading you with anxiety or stress. Hence, you're going into your shadow realm, you're seeing things that are working or not working, you're getting the root of that from a higher perspective, and you're being under you're being able to understand the shadow parts of you the mysterious parts of you so that you are whole remember go easy on yourself don't push yourself too hard to meet goals what did i tell you okay what did i you, the spirit is always spitting valerian rem remedies the internal parts of ourselves that can body mouse energy when we're overtly analytical and judgmental and in high trigger mode the message here is to take measure. Although your foundation can be established with great order, there's a certain amount of flow needed to enjoy creativity and grow. Child, listen, I'm the one of the two. Uh, I told you all of this. Boom. Don't exhaust yourself in the details. Embrace your imperfections. So whatever way that you're being called to use Valerian this week, okay, Go ahead and do so. Just do your research if you want to ingest it. Because, you know, you got to know your body. You got to know what the doctors are telling you. If you're taking other things that can contrast the the impact of valerian, you got to know what it is. You know, contact your doctor. I'm not a medical professional. I'm just reading an oracle deck. But there are other ways of using valerian other than um, ingesting it. You can maybe put it in a satchel, make a mojo jab bag with valerian and some other things in it. Um, make valerian oil maybe so on and so forth so um, again you want to work with me guys again this is the last month to take advantage of 20% off the first three months of possess your spirit membership using code hot summer h o t s u m m a hot summer excuse me link down below I love you guys so much I'm gonna see y'all next week ciao 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 Mwah. Mwah.